back like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you are new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you on three incredibly important aspects of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we always push you forward to grow professionally as you continue to ascend in your careers in business and entrepreneurship. Third, we help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today, we talk about the proper ways to create successful and lasting long-term relationships. Now, you know how I am. I don't like to waste time, and I'm ready to get into it, so let's do that right now. Coming together in a relationship is a beginning. Keeping together is a process, but working together is what it takes to make that relationship a success. Did you catch that last part though? I said working together in a relationship is what makes it a success. Sometimes when we build and develop our relationships, we forget key factors that play a huge part in helping maintain the type of balance necessary to keep that relationship alive. And what do I mean by alive? You know that feeling when you are in a relationship when your spouse or lover feels like more of a roommate than an actual spouse or lover? Where you communicate the most generic and easy things about what's going on with you in your life? Where you get supremely annoyed by the presence of your partner? Or when you start developing generic ass responses to their stories that they tell? Yeah, at some point, if you have been in a relationship, you realize that this is the legwork that happens after the initial infatuation phase wears off. Because now it's months, even years later, and the two of you aren't quite as all over each other as you used to be, right? You don't spend as much time as you used to together. And that's normal because you have reached a new phase in your relationship, a phase I like to call the balancing phase of a relationship. Let me explain. As we age and develop more deeply in our relationships and marriages, you start to balance between your personal relationships with friends and family, but you also have a different journey in your career development, right? While also focusing on personally growing and maturing, right? So this balancing phase requires a little less attention on the day-to-day -day interactions in your romantic relationship. So yes, you may still celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, special holidays, but something is missing, right? There is a level of intimacy, a level of unexpectedness that sometimes can get a little stale. But don't worry, this happens from time to time. This is where that working together part I mentioned earlier comes into play. See, we start having kids, we get married, we start new careers, we buy new houses and cars, spending time with friends and family members and deal with the daily stresses in life that you don't quite communicate as much as you need. Whether that be physically or emotionally, you need some sort of support. Working together in a relationship, a successful relationship, a romantic relationship, is a one-way street that you drive down together, where you go out of your way to make sure you are aligned, not only romantically, but in your relationship goals. When you take that next vacation together, when you prioritize your schedules to fit in time to discuss things like your next moves, where you leave love letters or cards for one another randomly to let them know that you love them despite them having a stressful week at work. When you have an opportunity to leave work early or leave early to pick up the kids instead of waiting for them to do it. Where you start dinner instead of asking what they're making for dinner. See, a relationship is a selfless form of love. You always hear me tell you to put yourself number one, right? To be responsible for your own happiness in that relationship because in your relationship, you share happiness. You share the responsibility of being there for your spouse or lover. You make sacrifices, you compromise, and you meet in the middle. And you find a way to come to common ground together. But if you are the only one investing that time, if you can't compromise together, if you have trust issues, communication issues, then you have much deeper problems you need to take a look at. Look, a lasting and meaningful relationship isn't like the movies where things end happily ever after. The reality is that there is grind work to do. There are uncomfortable conversations that need to be had. 
And there is a proper way to love your partner. But it starts with you first accepting that you need to ensure that you have your own back first. After you do, then you can carry on as two of you as a unit. How the weave? We're always so busy. First, by celebrating the small wins. Tell your partner what you love about them more. Be willing to learn from each other. More importantly, own who you are. Your partner is with you for a reason, right? You feel some sort of comfort being with them, but you have to make sure they aren't the source of your personal happiness. Remember, a relationship is where you share happiness, right? It's where your loyalty, honesty, and trust are at the forefront. So if you feel neglected, if you need emotional support, if you need to vent, if you need more physical intimacy, if you are just overall shouldering more than you can bear right now, if you feel alone in that personal partnership that you have together, then share it with them. And if you have the type of relationship where each of you are a priority to one another, then your partner will respond accordingly. And they will also appreciate that communication of frustration and they will help you. They will build you up. They will see the positives in that conversation. They will pick up that baton from where you dropped it. So this way you can both cross that finish line together. And keep this in mind, without respect, love is lost. Without caring, love is boring. Without honesty, love is unhappy. And without trust, love is just unstable. So today, if that love you share with your partner can help you rekindle, relearn the proper way to work together and build a sustainable relationship. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in today. And if no one has told you this already today, I appreciate you. If you are new to the channel, I want you, yes you, to become official to the squad. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom. Become an official part of the team. I'll be back with a new video soon. But in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.